Hi, my name is Robert McLemon, and this is a short video for environmental study students at Wilfrid Laurier University. I'm here in a wetland complex, or as they call it down here in Louisiana where I am today, a bayou. Now, a bayou, or a wetland, is a very important ecosystem asset, or source of ecosystem capital, uh, for human well-being and for natural well-being. This one happens to be just on the edge of the city of New Orleans. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the suburbs of the city come right up to the park boundary. Now, wetland complex is important for a couple reasons. One is that the amount of biodiversity here is truly incredible. You have water that is draining from literally right across the central portion of the United States from the Canadian border on down to the Gulf of Mexico, bringing with it sediment from all across that area and depositing it here in the nice shallow uh, delta region of Louisiana. And along with all that sediment and water, you can see the warm temperatures down here have generated a tremendous variety of plant life. Uh, so there's water right below me here, there's plants growing on the surface of the water, then there's plants coming up that are rooted to the bottom that are coming up through the water and out into the air here. And then of course you've got these big cypress trees behind me as well that are reaching right up and forming a canopy and the Spanish moss that is clinging to that and, dra uh, and draping down over it. And when you get that much plant biodiversity in one place, you're also going to get a lot of animal biodiversity as well, both in terms of animals that feed on the plants uh, and the carnivores that feed on those animals in turn. And of course, you're going to have lots of smaller organisms that are feeding on all the organic material that's decaying and decomposing here in the wetland. Now, uh, so in terms of the, an uh, the animal biodiversity and plant biodiversity, it's incredible. Uh, and yes, there are alligators uh, in this particular bayou. Uh, but as well, there's lots of other reptile species. I've seen several species of lizard just on my short walk here into the bayou. Uh, as you can imagine, a, a tremendous diversity of insects, uh, lots of amphibians, uh, and there's even a few deer running around here as well. So lots of biodiversity. So that's the first ecosystem service that the wetlands provide. Another important one, especially here in Louisiana where flooding is a real problem, is that the wetlands store moisture. And what they do is they moderate the hydrological cycle because there's lots of water coming down the Mississippi in the springtime as the more northern areas, the snow melts there and gets drained down here. And that water is trying to force its way out to the Gulf of Mexico. And the wetlands here, they, they absorb and store that moisture uh, and release it much more slowly out into the river itself and out into the Gulf. One of the challenges, of course, is that humans like to drain these things and convert them to other uses. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, the boundary of the suburbs of New Orleans come right up to this particular bayou, which is a national uh, reserve. Uh, and if, when you drive out of this bayou area, what you'll find is that as soon as you hit the park fence, suddenly all these cypress trees disappear, the standing water disappears, it's all been filled in, drained, and you've got uh, lawns and you've got houses built right up to it. So what happens is, and it happened here in Louisiana uh, on several occasions, uh, most obviously uh, Hurricane Katrina, is that uh, as these wetland complexes uh, get shrunken down, uh, when there is a surge in precipitation, whether it's a flood coming down the river or whether it's a storm surge coming up the river from the Gulf during a hurricane, uh, there's less storage capacity for all that water. And so what happens is if you don't have these wetlands, that excess water drains into channels and then into the cities. So it's a very important flood control measure to maintain uh, a good mix of wetlands within your watershed. And then the final thing that these things do is that humans unfortunately make a lot of pollution and wetlands perform an important ecosystem service in that they can filter out a lot of pollutants that are in the water uh, and thereby allow the water to be purified. And indeed there are cities in different parts of the world where functioning wetland complexes are part of a, a more systematic uh, approach to um, treating uh, urban wastewater. I can think of Arcata, California as one that I've visited. So anyhow, just to wrap this short video up then, uh, the importance of wetlands or bayous in this case cannot be overstated. We tend to have this negative image of them as swampy, bug-infested places, and they are, uh, but there's uh, they, that those bugs and that swamp uh, is a very important asset for us. So thanks for listening to my little video and I'll see you again.